Beans. Okay, so I wanted cool to go beans. off. The, <laughs> I wanted to go off of your argument saying that um, if someone wanted to date a trans woman because they want kids, you have to take into account of cis women who cannot have yeah, children. Yeah, I, I already brought that up. And you have to take into account of cis women who do not want kids as well. Okay. Also, um, I I feel like it is transphobic to not want to date someone so like like post surgery as well. Because it's like, they have all the parts that you are looking for. If you are into dick or pussy, whichever one, bro. And they have all those parts post-surgery, then there is no reason for you to not want to date them. Yeah. Okay. So, first off, like I said before, if somebody really wants to reproduce and they meet a woman, a woman who was born a woman, right? Mm -hmm. They will still leave that woman regardless if she cannot reproduce, correct? It's not morale. It is not nice in any way but it's still the same argument that i gave her right and let's say they do have a vagina they still cannot reproduce with that vagina i'm not saying that i wouldn't date a trans woman i probably would right right Mm -hmm. don't call me more than shit but i probably would right that's a joke if you get it in here and call him and shit (laughs) (laughs) haha okay yeah yeah it wouldn't be transphobic and the other argument uh religious preference it would, um, for for Muslims, it would be haram to date somebody who was not born that gender, because that is, that is what correct? it states. In the, yes, of... it it mm-hmm. states when they are born. That's why many Muslims, they sit here and they support transgender people, but they cannot date them, because the Quran or however the fuck you say that shit states when they are born that gender before they even think about transitioning because they are so young. Yeah, that's just not homophobic, my nigga. That's just not homophobic. Oh, okay, damn. Damn. Okay, calm down now. No. I mean, um, I'm not completely sure not about the Quran. The and I feel like religion as a basis is kind of skewed because it's like that's that own person's morals. It's not even yeah, scientific. But we're talking right? about if it's transphobic in general, right? And different people have different morals and some people are religious. Yes. So it would not be transphobic yeah. for somebody of that religion to not want to date a trans but person. But I feel correct? like using religion itself as a argument is just skewed because not everyone will have that religious belief. I didn't and say also, that it's like religion would. is based off of that. I own, would just say their own morals and like, so it's just not a scientific based argument. It's an emotion moral. Let's based say argument. I am Muslim, right? I'm not Muslim, right? Mm-hmm. Let's say I don't want to date a trans person because they are trans. It would be a sin for me to date them. Is that transphobic? So you're deciding to not date someone because they're trans is that because of the gender they were born was not the gender that i would be marrying because of my religion it states that i cannot date somebody who was born a man not if they are a woman right now i will recognize that they are a woman but my religion just simply Mm -hmm. states that i cannot date them because they were born a man but religion itself can be pretty bigoted if you like because well i'm not i'm not religious i'm agnostic Correct. I know, but, but what people I'm saying, do have those religious beliefs, yes. and it would not make them transphobic in any way. But ways. what I'm saying that your religion does not excuse bigotry. Your religion does not excuse um, literal scientific data that th- once this person has transitioned, their post surgery and everything. Okay, they but are the religion they identify as, and you have no. The religion is them. not not recognizing them. It's saying that they were born a man, not that they still are a man, but they were born a man. Therefore, it was not Allah's original creation. Right, I'm going off uh, the Muslim religion because that right now is the religion surging in Russia, and that is where I'm at right now. So yeah. But where in the Quran does that state that? Like I've like that you, you too, yourself said okay, that you're not I, Muslim, but you're speaking on behalf of Muslim people. Okay, do you want me to speak upon Catholics then? Because in the Bible in the- it speaks about that as well. I. Because if you, I am in St. Petersburg, that is a very Catholic area. Let's bring up Catholic points then. As I said, religion does not excuse bigotry. Religion is based off of somebody else's morals and not scientific. Okay, but how is it bigotry, right? If it's their religion. No, 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 no. If you think about, okay. Okay, but you're not getting at what Hmm. I'm saying, right? Okay, Okay. So let's say the Bible, something that somebody has grown up with their entire life right Mm -hmm. 
Right. Okay. You're getting where I'm at. Right. Because so you keep on asking me the life. same shit. Right. And then the Bible tells them that they cannot date somebody who was born a man. Not that they can't be friends with them. Not that they can't recognize them as a woman now. But because they were born a man. Right. But where does it say that? And do you know through colonization that Christianity and Catholicism has been used Bro, to spread? But that's the thing. You think I but, give a fuck about religion. That's not what you're getting at. I'm saying that people who are religious should not be forced to date somebody who's fucking trans because they're being raised to fucking date people who were fucking born that gender. Okay. Realize, who okay. moved him? Brock, did you move him off? Brock. Brock. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, I got moved out. Why? Because I was fucking right. I don't know. Um, but you can't use profanity on the stage. Wait, what did I use that was profanity? Um, is it cursing like the F word profanity? Wait, I said the F word. I apologize, yeah. Jupiter. No, I didn't mean to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. you're good. I right. mm-hmm. right. so that's that's what I have to say, you know. So I don't care if you think the Bible, Quran, whatever re- religion is colonized or misinterpreted. But if somebody is that's... raised on those morals mm-hmm. of their religion, right? But then they just... should not be forced to date somebody who is transgender and be called transphobic for it. Correct. But my but the reason why I brought up colonization as part of it is because that religion has been used to spread harmful beliefs. That, okay, and how religion does that relate does to my point? But it relates to your point because you're using religion as your stance, right? You're saying that because of this religion, oh they are God. able to hold this belief. But if you think about it, the reason why that religion religion has that belief is because it's been used by bigoted people to spread that through religion. The religion okay, but those those people it. who were taught the Bible or Quran were still raised on that belief, correct? So why would they go against that belief, right? Whether you think it's colonized or not, correct? Right, right. Why would well, they go against that if they were brought up on that, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Why would they... Money, why do you think people who have been raised in the church their entire life should have somebody's to date somebody trans. Somebody's upbringing does not excuse their bigotry. But they're not Even being bigoted. So so you're like, saying, right? You're, let's say you're, I you're I am so up. fucking I I I have so many transgender friends. Let's say that, right? I'm gonna be honest, I don't I I have like maybe six or seven of them from com, right? But let's say I have a lot of them. I recognize all of them as their preferred gender, right? But I have a religion and I have religious morals that say that I can't date them. Am I transphobic? No, because I recognize them as women. I just know that I can't date them because they weren't born women. They are still women. To me, they are complete women, except for the fact I cannot date them because they weren't born that true woman. But what I'm saying is that the religion itself can be skewed for you to have those beliefs. Who? That's who's, what I mean. Wait, the religion hold on. itself is skewed to hold those beliefs so that you may not date a trans person. Yes, you can see them as trans, but the religion itself stating that you cannot date them because they're trans, that is the skewed religion that I'm talking about. That is when I brought up how colonization okay. uses religion to spread harmful beliefs. Okay, so now I would like to get to the point. Colonization, right? You tell me the timeline where the... Q- Q- fuck Quran, right? Has ever been in a point of colonization? Because when you are talking about colonization, you are talking about when it's intercrossed with what type of men? Bigoted people who spread that. Bigoted people. Okay. So in the original Quran, right, it has only been changed twice in two times periods in the same exact region. That is true, right? So that religion has never been touched or colonized. Now, with the Christian Bible and the Catholic Church, that religion has obviously gone through many different stages and there has been translations, right? Yes, but there's many, many the Quran has never been colonized. So so what are you talking about? With well, you that were, I was going off of the basis of 
Catholicism, because you were talking about Catholicism. So I was going off the basis that Catholicism, Colin uses that, um, sorry, Catholicism is used as a way to spread colonial, colonialist beliefs. That's what I was talking about. You went on about the Quran, but I was completely talking about Christianity and Catholicism. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually going to bring up this point they're saying in chat, right? Now, personally, I think if the ass fat, I would still tap, right? Even if they did have it, they, if they were, if they say they're a girl, I still tap, right? But let's say this, I. Right? What if I'm grossed out by a dick and they have a dick? You're still going to call me transphobic? Like, I just no. want to say, not all trans women have penises. Yes, I know, I know. But it is also true that, hold on, let me, that 34% of trans women do not get the surgery. That is correct, right? Yes. I mean, right. So, so, mm -hmm. what if I am grossed out by a dick? Now, personally, like I said, I was still hit, right? But we argued this earlier that genitalia preference is valid, but I'm saying if they are post-surgery and you are planning on having a sexual relationship with a trans person, you do not have any reason to deny... Well, you don't, you don't have any reason to deny them. So, so you agree that if they have a dick, it's valid to not date them? That's literally been the, one of the entire points. Yes, and you want to talk about them having a vagina... Tell me how I'm supposed to have children with somebody not with a real vagina. What are you... Okay, you are... You're specifically talking no, about... No, because that's the point I brought up at first. So we'll go back to yeah. that point. Yeah. Because we were talking about that. If I want to have kids in the real world that look like me, right? I cannot have them with a trans woman. Is that correct? You cannot have them with a trans woman, yes. Yes, so it's transphobic. Well, Would it be transphobic for me to not be with a trans woman because I want to have children of my own that look like me? But we... Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. And keep in mind, like, I'm all for trans rights, all that shit. I'm just saying that it's not transphobic because some people do want to reproduce. Right? Yeah. Yes. Look, I do want to Google really quick because I'm pretty sure there is a way for transgender people to get reproductive organs, though. I'm pretty sure that is a thing reproductive, that you can do. Yes, I know what you were talking about. That has happened nine times. It's insanely expensive, and almost uh, no trans woman will ever get it in the next, let's say, 20 years. Hello? Yes. So, hey, now, guys. if you are Okay, okay, then that's a completely different if argument. Planning, if a trans woman tells me that she can have kids, right? Then yeah, I would then I would yes. have no problem being with her, but keep in mind, there's almost no chance of them having that because it's only happened nine times ever. Most of those women, to my recollection, recollection, are fucking dead, right? Oh, I'm sorry for saying uh, that word. My fault. I forgot about the little podcast thingy, but yeah, and the surgery cost millions and has only been done for scientific research. And most of the times that's happened, I'm pretty sure it was in China, correct? You can search that up since you have Google open right now. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Like, yeah. Can you send... Wait, can you send me where you're reading this? Because we might get different sources. I... Because yeah. I Google transgender on. reproductive organs. I have my surgery. virtual machine open. I have to go back to the Linux main screen. Hold on. Um, just let me know when you're going to send it so I can log general so you can send the way you're reading it back. I, um. we, yo, if we can run pulls right now. Yeah, we should. Um, we need to switch you guys out. Keep going or you guys run pulls? We need to switch out people. So. I, yeah, that's fine. Um, trans <clears throat> so this just equates, uh, can you unlock, or can you unmute me, I'll mute it, yeah, because I said a no-no word, 
like three times uh, on accident. You didn't unmute me, you forgot the end. Let you talk. I can't bring nobody up. I ain't got perms. Uh, can you just click on me and take away the muter roll? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Literally would be so much easier. Thank you. I. This is one of them. Hold on. I'll get the other ones. Uh. Why did I got? Uh. Yeah. Uh, keep in mind, I'm not transphobic anyway. I would date trans women and all. I was just bringing up the points of reproduction and some people's yeah. religion. I, yeah. Six tray. Is that the six tray from Calm? Hold on. Wait. Is it? Yeah, wait. Is six tray. Oh, yeah. You all got packing in your status and shit. Yeah. You only are definitely from Com, but you're on Impact and Com. I was asking if he was from uh, the Doxman server, but no, 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 Pack and Com. Mm. Yeah. Cause I know that shit. I did. You already take the little pull thingy. Yeah, you did. I. Uh, yeah. I gotta go yeah, repair yeah. IC self bot, so I'm about to go. I got like 40 DMs of people asking to join. Um, yeah, we'll switch out.